Hey everyone, I'm Brett, and welcome to Nightwood Guns. Got a fun video today. It is how to use the restroom while appendix carrying. Anytime I talk about appendix carry on YouTube, I always get some comments of people who do appendix carry and are like, I love appendix carry, but it is so hard to use the restroom in public. In a lot of cases, they'll talk about having to run off to the stall to whip out the wily weasel for a quick pee. And if there's no stall available, they just stand there playing the ants in their pants dance, hoping not to end up as cool as Billy Madison. Everybody my age pees their pants, it's the coolest! And let's be honest, we don't want the rest of the guys in the restroom to think that we don't want them to watch us play tackle the tool in close physical proximity to them. So if you don't want to be a social pariah, you have to use that urinal. And I'm gonna show you how I do it. And for any ladies watching this video, be sure to stick around because I'm gonna show the guys how to take a fat dump in public. So if you're appendix carrying, you need to pee as a lady, that will apply to you as well. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, I'm a pro two-way author that wrote two epic short novels, Armed Instinct and Countdown to Dawn. They're better than anything you'll watch on TV these days, so be sure to check out the link in the description below. Support a pro 2A author, check out my books, leave reviews for them when you're done reading. And of course, if you want to throw money directly at the channel to support the work that I do here, I have a pretty new Patreon to all of my past, present, and future patrons. You guys are the best. You make this channel happen. Now hopping into the video, I found some very brightly colored workout shorts that I've put on over my underwear under my jeans so that we can keep this video as close to PG-13 rated as possible. As a gun channel, I already fight YouTube for monetization enough as is. I don't need any more trouble. No dick slips on this channel. Now a quick disclaimer, not everybody wears the same clothes that I wear, not everybody carries the same gun or the same holster that I carry, so this may not work for you. Hopefully it does and it helps you out, but if not, feel free to laugh along. This is gonna be a good one. So when it comes to the public evacuation of urine, I run into two different situations when appendix carrying. Carrying a gun with a shorter barrel like a Glock 19 or a Sig P365, and then carrying a full-size gun with like a 5 or 6 inch barrel like the Staccato here. So when it comes to carrying a gun with a shorter barrel like this Glock 19 here, the trick is to have the clips down a bit so you can carry your gun higher up on your person. And as you can see, when it's time to zip on down to zipper town, there will usually be enough room to fish out the phallus. You might have to dance through the tallywhacker tango a bit to fish it out, but there's definitely enough room to not make yourself look like too much of a public nuisance in the restroom. So is there enough room for shuttle launch? Well, yes there is. Oh god, using an old banana was a bad idea. It's starting to open up. Ugh. I hope this stuff doesn't show up on a black light. Ugh. So yeah, it might be a bit of a tight squeeze, but at least you can make it work in a pinch. Now when it comes to a full-size gun with a duty length barrel, as you can see, the entrance to the serpent's lair is completely blocked off. Now the trick here that I use to not make it look like I'm playing whack-a-wang at the urinal is to actually unclip my holster, bring it up to the top of my belt, and clip it down right at the top. And that will give you enough room to release the Kraken. As you can see, we have liftoff. I should have just made banana bread instead of making this video. Now when it comes to actually clipping your belt up here, I don't actually like walk up to the urinal and then show everybody my gun and then lift it up. I will walk up to the urinal, over my shirt I will grab my belt clips and I will move them up to the top of my belt and then I will unzip and it's party time. Now I will say that the discrete carry concept clips typically help with being able to clip it to the top of your belt because these do have very aggressive little claws there that will clip to pretty much anything. So these DCC clips are a great tool to use if you're gonna use this PP time technique. All right, now this is the point where girls are gonna be asking, what about me? What if I have to pee and I carry appendix? And also guys who vote for anti-gun politicians are also thinking this question. What if I have to pee because I pee sitting down? Well, whether you prefer to pee pee on the pot or if you have to run the dog sled to deuce town, let's get into it. Now if I'm in public and it's time for me to muck up the mudslide, here's how I go about doing it. So first of all, I wear pants that are either a size or two too big or stretchy jeans like these hyper stretch jeans from Express and I will loosen up my belt. I wear a core essentials belt, take it to the very first click there to give me plenty of room to play around. I don't even unbutton my pants or unzip since I am properly prepared with either stretchy jeans or wearing pants that are a size or two too big. I can just pull it right down Ha 
have a seat. And my gun just chills right here. If somebody kicks down the stall door because they want to penetrate your pooper while you're vulnerable, boom, gotcha. And after you've blasted the party pooper, take a look at this, you can safely reholster. So once you're done pushing Play-Doh through your fart flaps, you can just pull your pants right on up, after wiping of course, and get them up. Oh my god, it's getting so hot with these sweatpants on. Tighten your belt back up, and you're good to go. Don't forget to wash your hands. All right, now I'm not saying that these are the only ways to go about doing it, but this is how I have adapted over the years because frankly, this is a topic that's not largely discussed. Since everyone is different and this is a topic not discussed frequently, I wanna use the comment section on this video as a safe space to share your bathroom techniques when it comes to carrying a gun, especially at appendix. So don't be shy and let us know how you handle your EDC when nature calls. But hopefully seeing how I do it with my clothes, with my holsters and my guns has helped you out in some way. At the very least, hopefully it made you laugh. If you like this video and you wanna see more from me, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that like button, I really appreciate it. It was great seeing you guys today and I'll see you in the next video. I'm Brett and this was Nightwood Guns. Nightwood out. Yeah.